Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make item fades, affect video in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here that's just music. And it sounds like this. Now I want to add some video to it. So I'm going to go to my directory, which is the Explorer on PC, with a Finder on Mac, and I have a folder here with two videos. Let's start with the first one and just drag it in right down here. And Reaper automatically makes a new track for that video. But to see it, we need to go to the View menu and choose Video Window. And that creates a window here where we can see our video. So if I play it, my video plays with the music. But now I want to fade in in the beginning because it starts off too abruptly. I want it to fade in instead. But if I fade in by putting my mouse on the upper left corner, which gives me a fade tool, so I could drag it over here, it's not going to fade in. It still comes in abruptly. So what we have to do first is put a plugin on this track right here. We'll go to all plugins and choose the first one, video processor. Double click it. And this plugin opens up where we can choose the preset item fades affect video. If we choose this, any fade-ins or fade-outs or even cross-fades can be done with our items. So let's choose this. And let's also duplicate the plugin by copying and pasting it. And the second one, let's choose the preset Vignette, just for a cool effect. So I can close it, and any fade-in, fade-outs or cross-fades on our video items are going to show up. So let's do a fade in for about a bar. It'll look like this. That's a bit too long, so let's make it a half a bar. That's a lot better. But we could also choose different fade shapes. If I right click over here, we could see the different shapes we could choose. This is linear, but we could start off slow instead. Or start off faster, like this. Or any shape that we want, right here. Let's stick with this one. Now let's play it to the next section where we want to add an edit and go to video 2. Right at bar 7, let's split it, hit S, let's grab this piece and bring it down. Reaper creates another track for this. Let's mute it as we're not going to use this track because we don't want to see it. Now let's bring in video two and put it on this first track. Let's drag it back to bar six and it creates a crossfade from video one to video two. As long as we turn on the option here, auto crossfade. That'll make a crossfade when we drag it over each item. And it looks like this. So it crossfades one bar before the edit point. Let's change it by trimming it on this side, a bit over here, 
and a bit over here. So the center of our crossfade is at bar 7. And we can also change the crossfade shapes. Right click, choose this one. That's pretty good. Or this one. Or this one. I kind of like the first one right here. Let's move on to the next edit. Right at bar 9, I want to create a hard edit with no course fade. So let's split right here, drag this down to create another track, which we're also not going to be using. So let's mute it. Let's put this item on video 1 and drag it back up for a hard edit at bar 9. And at bar 11, I want to go back to video 2, but I want to crossfade even longer. Let's split here, drag this down, split over here on video 2, drag this up, and drag it back a full bar, and drag this forward a full bar. So we have a two bar crossfade. So it's even more dramatic. Then at the end here, I have a crash in reverse. So it sounds like this. So it's split video two right here. Drag this back down. Split video one. Bring it up. Let's fade out to match the reverse. Let's change the shape to something like this, and let's see that. It's kind of dramatic. Then let's fade out video one after a full bar. Split it, drag it down, and fade it out right here. Now let's hear the whole thing from the beginning, but I first want to add a few more fade-ins to make it more dramatic with the chord changes. Let's split right here and right here. Let's fade it in with this shape. Do the same over here. And let's fade out this section just a tiny bit. Now let's see that. Just like that, we created a bunch of fade ins, fade outs, and cross fades, and created edits between different videos. And we did it all by just adjusting the fade shapes on our items. So that's pretty much it. That's making item fades affect video in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.